Right, guys, welcome back to Into the Breach. Uh, so we're gonna head over to Desert Island now. All right, so let's have a look here. So we start off with um, there's a seismic threat here, and then there's a high uh, high threat here. But this gives me an extra point to use. Uh, but the thing is, I would really like to get this guy. So I could go one, two, three, and then one of these ones, I guess, if I wanted to be baller as fuck. So. This one is interesting. So this is a uh, defend the terraformer. You tra uh, terraform the grassland back to the desert and protect the coal plant. And the terraformer confused me the first time I played this, but it's actually not that confusing. Uh, so it's actually pretty good. So we're gonna spawn right here. So there's all this grassland here, and uh, we'll get into that in a sec. It's actually really fucking cool. All right. So this is going to be the coolest shit you've ever seen. So the way, that, the way it works is Terraform is under your control. Use it to turn grass into sand tiles. When you use it, it will... I can use it in one of the... Okay, let me just make sure I'm not going to click it by accident. All right. It will kill everything in these tiles. All right. Now, the reason why it's really fucking cool is I can do things like this. Until you shell this guy into there. Uh, I can, I don't know, punch this fucker over here. Uh, and then this guy is just an instant kill. It eradicates all life. Just got three kills. Really, really cool. Um, and but you're but the thing is, you only have like four turns, so you can kind of tell the radius I have here to work with. So that that one was um, quite the turn. This guy didn't even have to do anything. And yeah, there, there's your single towel airstrike. So there's really nothing I can do here anymore. Weirdly, <laughs> oddly enough. I wish I had actually just shot him with a cannon guy, but that's that's fine. So that guy's gonna shoot there, he's gonna shoot there. So we can now actually start kind of moving these guys to positions where they can block this stuff. Um, actually, is this where he wants to go? Yeah, so we're gonna move this guy over here. So basically every turn we kind of want to use the terraformer. So, we have to stay out of its path and all that kind of jazz. Uh, I guess we're going to move him over here so that he can kind of be in the way so they maybe don't attack that building. But, you know, that's pretty much how this is going to go. So we block those two enemies. Alright, so he wants to attack that. This guy wants to attack that. It has 2 HP though, so it can sustain a little bit of damage. Uh, so what we can do is, the easiest thing for us to do is, uh, I mean, dealing with this guy would actually be probably the best thing. Um, I, I want to push this guy up so I can use a terraformer up here, uh, but I'm not sure, actually. Because this guy is easier to kill through other means, but... I think, actually, yeah, the thing is, okay, I can't shoot on top of it. I can push him to the side. I would like this guy to be pushed up though. So I can kill him in one hit. So, it's a tough one. I mean, I can push him up also with this guy and then do something else with him. Actually, yeah, there's a there's a there's a vex spawning there. So, you know what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to push this guy over here. We can actually, we can actually move this guy over here. All right, and what we can do with this one is we can actually hit him one more time. So he will definitely, most certainly die now. All right. All right, there you go. So the tra the terraformer can only do one thing. It's now to go over there, but fortunately, it, that actually is, works well for me, because the guy decided to go right into the way where he would basically die. So that's pretty much it. We've we've terraformed all the desert away, um, and now we just have to deal with these two guys. And we don't have to kill them, we just have to move them away. So that's pretty easy to do. And there you go. And if we want it as well, we can just kill one of them with this guy, maybe. No, we can't. Actually, we can. Look at that. Clutch as fuck. And that's pretty much it.
Pretty good ship. I actually, I actually like the terraformer a lot. It, it confused the shit out of me when I first saw it, but I was like, oh, okay. That's what the whole deal is. Alright, so we got another mech move on this guy. So he just got an innate bonus for that. So these are his three things that he has. He's at max level now. So, you know, I can bring him in. And I have not used dash yet, have I? I would like to use that. Alright, we're gonna head up towards that reactor. Uh, so we have to defend the earth mover. Um, I, I think I've played with it once. And then you end the battle with less than four mech damage. So you're trying not to damage your mechs too much. Alright, so... Let's bring this guy... This guy here, this guy here, and this guy in the back, because he has, like, unlimited range. Alright, so the Earth Mover... The Earth Mover is... I don't get to manipulate it at all, and doesn't really do anything. Um... So that's unfortunate. So, okay, so this guy, I don't think he has a scene anymore. So he's a pincer, he moves forward and charges to damage and push the target. Um, so, the smart thing might be to do is to move him into, move him around here. So we push him back one tile here, so that this guy hits him and then he charges nothing when I move this guy around. Uh, I kind of want to do something about this guy. What's this guy doing? He's gonna... Okay, let's see the order. So, this guy's gonna go second. So, we would actually prefer this guy to be back over there. So, then he'll shoot that guy. Now, this, unfortunately, I can't really do much with, uh, with my artillery guy, unfortunately. Uh, so, I guess we can maybe just position him over here instead. And that should be okay. Yeah, I can, I, there's just nothing I can do here. Yeah, there's nothing useful to do right for this one. I. So he's gonna go there, attack nothing. This guy's now gonna hit him. And this guy's gonna hit this guy. And killing him, actually. What the fuck? That guy's strong. So the Earth Mover is making tiles. That's what that's doing. Now here's the question, can I just send them down into the abyss? Ground units pushed in will be destroyed, so yes I can. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to push this guy into here, because we have to deal with him at some point. Uh, this guy is going to make them explode when I uh, take care of them, so... Uh, let's see, how much HP does he have? A little bit too much. Alright, so I don't have many options here, so I'm going to have to just block the way here. Because here's the thing, if I move into the middle of these two guys, I can't push this guy out of the way of hitting that guy. As much as this guy is passive, which I, I don't know if you've seen it, but all other Vec explode on death dealing one damage to adjacent tiles. So these guys will all explode dealing one damage to all the tiles around them. So if I kill him, he's going to hit the, the, the Earth Mover, unfortunately. But what I can do is I can get in the way of this guy's attack and just punch him. Um, you know, that works. And then I can move this guy out of the way by one tile. Uh, so, that what that's what seems best to me. I'll block the way here. And there you go, now they're not doing anything. Oh, that hurts, man. So, uh, I can't take any more damage or else I skip on that, that bonus objective. So that's really unfortunate. I forgot how much damage you did. All right. We have some problems. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I punch this guy. I think if I punch him though, it may not end well for me. I have that dash deck, but See, I can punch him into that, but I think he's going to explode. That's the problem. But I don't think we have any options here. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we we did we we did take some damage here. Uh, we're going to move this guy away. Uh, 
right, there you go. That will deal with these guys. My grid defense is 17, apparently. Oh, because I have an overpower bonus. Because I have more than I should for energy. Alright, so we have victory in two turns. Dealing with this guy would be very nice. Alright, so we're going to have to move these guys out of the way. So no matter what they have to move. I would have liked to be been able to attack this tile. Because then I would have been able to bring him into the water. But it looks like we're not going to get an angle on that. Um... In fact, for that matter, I think we just gotta destroy this guy. Alright, so that, that meant we'll make it so they don't explode anymore. And actually, we can work this out in such a way where... Uh, actually, we can't. Actually, no, we can. Oh, you know what? We're just gonna use the air strike. There you go. There you go. Good thing I have that airstrike, actually. Completely forgot about that tile. So, oh, by the way, these are smoke clouds. Um, they just pre When you're in the tile, it prevents you from attacking or repairing, and the same goes for the other guys, too. They can't attack. And I, I, I haven't seen any Vec that, uh, that repair themselves, but, you know, it's kind of how that works. All right, this is a nice one. We, if we protect the defense lab, we get an extra reactor. So I definitely want to do that. And apparently a bonus objective is to destroy two mountains and kill at least seven enemies. Um... So they want me to, they think that the Vec use, it, use the mountains as hives. So these are some damaged uh, mountains. The easiest way of doing that is to make them do the damaging for me, uh, to be fair, so. All right, so this guy's gonna go over here. I'm not sure what his plan is. All right. So this guy's gonna attack up here. So, we're gonna have to deal with this guy, I think. This guy's just not doing anything, so... I do have this this charge punch, so... But... And th there is an achievement for me to actually utilize it, uh, but I'm not sure when I'm gonna be able to do that. I think for the most part, I think we, what we want to do is we want him to block the tile. Um, but I don't think I can get him to do that, not without taking damage myself, especially from this guy who does 3 damage. So I think what we're going to do is we're maybe just going to stand out of the way for this. Um, Cause I don't think we have any ability here to deal with a lot of this stuff here. Cause the, the, the punching is a straight line. Um, and they position themselves incredibly well. So I'm just trying to think of, uh, ways for me to deal with this, but I don't think there is. Okay, I think I know what to do here. Okay, so I think for this guy, I can push him to basically attack that guy. Even though the order says he's not, he's gonna attack last, this guy isn't doing anything. So I think the play is actually to do this. So now he attacks that guy for massive, massive damage. Uh, and then this guy, I think I can just kind of I guess I can start whittling him down. Actually, we can just kill him in one hit. Not a bad idea. Because I don't want to move him around, so... Alright. Good turn, good turn. Alright. So these guys are doing some stuff, but I think we can get most of them. So he's going to artillery shell over the building here for this guy. But I think what I can do is I can push two of these guys away and even destroy a mountain in the in the process. So that's kind of good. Um, and I would like him to be in the way of this. Maybe. I don't think there's much we can do with him. Thing is, I, I don't really want to push a lot of these guys away, but actually it may be good here. Because I push him onto that tile, he does nothing essentially. And we can kill these guys. Blocking the turn essentially. 
There you go, that's one of the mountains. So the mountains usually have like, I guess, two HP. Who would have who thought that this guy would have been so useful for me? Alright. They really hate this guy. What? So... Alright. Um, let's see the order first, and then he's gonna kill that guy. So, I mean... Why contain it? Okay, so I guess I could get that achievement now, I think. Oh no, I can't actually. Because I, I, I blocked, I screwed it up. Oh, I should have hit him first with this thing, fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna just use my reset, fuck this shit. <laughs> Why am I so bad at achievements? Alright, so we're gonna hit that. There you go, now we got it. It was important. And these guys can just fuck off, do whatever, so I'm just gonna hit the mountain here for the uh, optional objective. So. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get these guys. I mean, I just have to kill three more enemies, and he's gonna kill one for me, so. So we just have to kill two of these guys. Uh, Alright, let's see here. So, I would like to ram him and kill him. So, let's just, uh, hit him. Artillery. And you just punch this guy. There you go, we got it. End of turn. So nobody died, we got all the optional objectives, and we even got the reactor. Alright, not too bad. Uh, so now we get to just choose one of these. Do we want to defend the prototype Renf Renfield bombs or defend the train? The train one is fun, but I've actually never done the prototype bombs. Uh, this site holds two warheads, uh, designed by temp temporal scientist Dr. Reinfield. But utilizing your breach technology, RST was deemed to be the safest place to test them. Uh, yeah, sure, let's let's just try it out. Because I've, I've never seen this. This is actually a new mechanic for me. So how does this work? Uh, prototype bomb, fire immunity cannot be set on fire. Um, and explodes on death, dealing one damage in adjacent tile. So you're just supposed to defend them, I guess. All right, that's kind of boring, actually. So you can utilize them to kill them, but it, they want you to keep them alive, so. All right, so there's another pod here. All right, so unfortunately, these guys are massive jerks. Uh, alright, let's go shell these guys away. Alright, so we have to get rid of this guy, but I'd like to kill him, so, because he's a jerk. Fortunately, I'd, I would have to stand on top of that to, to get it, so I'm not willing to end my turn like that. What are the two new guys? All right, dude. Oh yeah, this is the artillery bug. Uh, the guy, I think I didn't explain that. I'll get, I'll get into. I'll click that in a second. All right, so he does damage three and does a artillery lobbing in a single tile. Um, so here's the thing. I want to move that guy onto this tile. Um, it means this guy's gonna take a bit of damage from the one damage guy, but I think I think we'll be okay with that. We can actually- Oh, shit. You guys didn't see anything. It was a good idea at the time. I had the best of intentions. Okay. Uh, same deal. You guys didn't see shit. Um, so we- For some odd reason, I don't feel inclined to do that action again. Uh, so this guy... I'm going to just do this. It's going to damage my other guy a little bit, but that's okay. 
And this guy it doesn't matter, the time pot doesn't care about the uh, little splash damage like that. Okay, that should be, that's an acceptable, because he's going to hit the mountain now because I moved him up. That's how it works, he was here, and then he's going to hit the mountain instead. And then he's going to get killed by the, bre by the guy trying to get up there. Thank goodness for that rewind button. That only works one time. Alright, so these guys are being jerks. So he's gonna hit that. Okay, so they're all choosing some very nice places to be really annoying. So what we can do is we'll take this take these two guys out of the equation. I think this guy is just easily can just deal with this guy. And then I can either I can probably block him and then also subsequently Actually I can block both of this. That is worth. That is incredibly worth. Oh no, I can't block it because he moves me out of the way. Fuck. Alright, we just lost. Alright, we only have one more turn, so we just have to make, make them not attack stuff for one turn. Um, this may be a little bit difficult to do, though. So... Let's just ignore this guy, because he's not a problem. Uh, we can go on this and make him attack there. What's more important, the power grid or the, uh, the, or the optional objectives? I'm going to say optional objectives. Alright. Mistakes were made, so we're going to have to make some sacrifices here. Alright, so this guy's going to be useless, so we don't really care about him. this guy out of the way. Alright, so one of the buildings will take damage. Oh, fuck me, dude. How oh, good it resisted it, but we didn't get the optional objective, because I just forgot that he does that. Yeah, so the, the, the resistance chance is 17%. I'm upset now. I didn't check the order in which they do things. That order, man, it matters. It matters a big deal. Ah, well, it's okay. It's, it's still a good result, I'd say. We got the pod, too. Pod's more important, honestly. Uh, grab a unit and toss it behind you. Free ally immune. Oh, so it's normally free, but... You can make an ally immune, and then there's reactor core. So, unfortunately, everything's lost again. This is, by the way, as far as I made it, so we're entering some blind territory. Alright, so, ally immune, what's that do? Deals no damage to allies. Okay, it's not really a big deal to me. We do have two reactor cores, so I'm sort of leaning towards doing more damage. So, let's do some more damage with the artillery shells. I like the idea of that. Alright, so... Corporate HQ, just destroy the beetle leader and protect uh, the corporate tower. Alright, let's have a look at how this goes. Alright, so what does he do? We can actually see here. So, he will charge and light every uh, tile in the path on fire. Uh, and he does 3 damage with that. Uh, he's massive, so he can walk on water. Uh, so, he's Jesus. Uh, he's immune, immune to water, challenge to kill. Tile will turn into smoke when damaged. Oh, it's referring to the sand. Alright. So... I would like to bait him in to go over here. So maybe we'll just put all the guys there and make it look really juicy and appetizing for him. We'll see how this goes. Alright, so it looks like the baiting did not work. Now, this can be a bit of an issue here. Because um, he's going to... Do some bad things here, but we can block both tiles here. But we're gonna take. I I really don't want to take take the hit here, but I may have to. Hmm. We may have to just spend the turn actually absorbing all the damage though. Oh, we can move this guy around. That's right. Maybe I should have done that, is tossed him behind me. I forgot I even had that. Because we do this. 
and we toss him onto there. Look at that. That could be really good. And here's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna put this in the way. Alright, and this guy does two damage now. Wow, that was a way better turn. If because I used my strategy mind. So there you go, he's setting everything on fire. And we blocked the enemy from coming up there. So just because by the way, because he moved away, he's actually not necessarily uh yeah, he's not necessarily done with this. Um, the unfortunate thing is, he is super in the way, so I am thinking of just going up there and punching his ass. So, we're gonna do the strategy of take out that guy, and hopefully I don't die after that. Uh, wait, wait, what? Oh, he's in the way. Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have moved him first. Or wait, why, why did it work out that way? Oh, because he doesn't have enough range. Alright, we lost. I fucked up. I would really like him not to attack the corp building, so... We're actually going to all go into the fire. Uh, no, we're not actually. We're going to go... Actually, there's nothing I can do to prevent him from doing that now. Okay, that's unfortunate. I'm very sad now. I am so sad right now. Alright, well, he's out of the fire, but he's still going to be on fire, so... Yeah... He went right into the position where it was really difficult to deal with him. I had a plan, though. I really did have a plan. Alright. Now they're unfortunately burning, and I'd have to spend a turn repairing them in order to to save them. So just deal with him first. Um, should wait. Let's undo this guy's move. I uh, believe me, I am very sad right now. What's the order of? Yeah, they went emerge first. So I actually that's. Totally pointless move, anyways. I'm very sad. You guys, tell that I'm sad yet, because I'm fucking sad. I right, move him out of the way. Unfortunately, anything I do with him is just going to result in death. I think so. Oh, I was hoping to maybe toss him into the fire or something, but I don't know. Because this guy will only deal a little bit of damage. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, what, how much damage does he do? One. Alright, you know what? I'm going to tank it like a man. And repair, my heal, repair the damage I'm about to take. And yeah, I, I don't think there's anything I could do about that. Don't let that happen again. Alright. So let's see where these guys are going. Alright, so unfortunately he's webbing that guy. But he's gonna take... Okay, I think what we can do is we can just actually heal him and the fire away goes away. So this guy's gonna attack him no matter what. He would have been useless anyways. At least he's, you know distracting somebody so that's that's kind of good these guys are not attacking so we can punch this guy in the way here I'm not sure if there's anything else I can really do here that would be useful we only have one turn anyways might as well just throw him into the fire fuck that guy let him burn Oh wait, he didn't die. Oh, uh, I should have killed him with them, or...? Ah. Alright. That was, did not go exactly as planned, I won't lie. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Alright, I kinda rushed that one here. Alright, let's see here. Self-destruct. Any mech explodes killing self and anything adjacent to the mech. Which, 
would maybe be a good thing on uh, a mech that has no pilot, for example. Um, passive effect stabilizes. Mechs no longer take damage when blocking emerging mechs. So I can just keep one on top of a emerging one the entire time. Which, that doesn't sound too bad. Uh, psionic receiver. Mechs use bonuses from Vec uh, Scion. I mean, considering the only two is, the two I found is the health one and the one where when they die they explode. Uh, I don't think that's very good. Uh, the shield projector is here again. So we unfortunately don't seem to be able to find um, a pilot at all, so. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we use this on the mech without a pilot. Um, it's right now that, that guy, but I can maybe give it to this guy. Oh, he has a targeted strike right now and then vice fist. Okay, maybe, maybe not, because I, I just realized I have like, I gave all these guys things, so. Some of the stuff is really cool though. I don't think, I don't think I can really use the, because I'm not going to have my artillery guy do that. I can put, I can put the pilot in something else, maybe, but, or maybe give the target strike to somebody else, but this is like the best the best one for it because this guy has unlimited range anyway so that's why I don't want to give him that weapon it's uh I mean I could also sell the weapon and, and give it on something else it's it's a tough one guys um, maybe, maybe I could sell the targeted strike and give them give them the self-destruct instead because this could be really clutch on a mech with no pilot because I'll get it again in the next level but like you just do that when you uh, yeah let's do that actually That's how we're gonna do this. So he has no pilot, so he might be uh, he might be kamikazing at, at the end of every mission just for fun. All right, so we have uh, six points, six reputation. So what I could do is I can get two reactor modules, and then I can just spend the entire next section getting like uh, instead of the stars, just going for mostly lightning bolts. So maybe we'll do that. It's a bit risky, but that's how we're gonna do it, I think. So I think we're done with this island, and now we're in very blind territory. Um, after securing two corporate islands, the final mission is available to complete difficulty. It scales to your current progress. Finding it now will be as much of a challenge uh, as attempting it after securing additional islands. Wait. The difficulty of this battle scales to your current progress. Fighting it now will be as much of a challenge as attempting it after securing uh, additional islands. That's that's counterproductive, or sort of counter that that cancel each other out. So does it scale to my current progress, or does it is it going to be as much of a challenge if I progress more? That's the question. I don't know. Okay, maybe maybe in bad English. I don't know. Uh, securing more islands before the final mission will allow you to save more civilians, and increase your total final score. Okay, maybe we'll do other islands because I haven't done these at all. Plus, I'd like to see them as well. So we're gonna do this one next time. So take care, everyone. And this is also blind for me. I haven't done this one so. Fucking awesome. What, what does this one have? Uh, the last end. Alright. Uh, peace out, guys. Take care.